Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about argv0, or conventionally the first argument of a program. Now, most most programming languages have the idea of either argc, argv, uh, argument count, and argument vector. I don't actually get a video on this at some point. Um, but today I wanted to talk about specifically what the first argument is, and that you can't always trust the value that's there. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. We're actually going to be writing a little bit of C today to demonstrate what I want to talk about here. Uh, and we're just going to basically print out what argv0 is, and then we'll show how you can manipulate that value a little bit and how programs can actually set whatever value they want into that when calling your executable. All right, so we're going to do int argc and care star star argv, of course, brackets or whatever. Uh, and we're just going to print what argv0 is. And percent s and argv zero. This will give us a program that, and this is optional in C, I believe. Uh, this will give us a program that's just going to print the first argument as it gets executed, and we're going to compile that program. It should give us a dot out. And if we run a dot out, you'll see that argv zero is a dot out. And if we were to invoke it using the full path to it, you'll see that we get the full path to this. Basically, in this case, argv0 is representing the path that this executable is being run from. Uh, this also means that if you were to simlink this executable, let's say we renamed it to some exe, and we now run some exe, you'll see that argv0 still reflects that, even if we were to as well do a full path to that simlink. So argv0 doesn't generally uh, expand the simlink here. Now, the other problem with argv0 is programs can kind of put in whatever they want in here when they're running exec. Exec is a way to replace the current process. I believe I did a video on the difference between subprocess and exec. You could search for that on my channel as well. Uh, so just to show you that exec can sort of fudge the value here, we're going to use Python and use os.execvp. Uh, I don't remember what, I believe v is a vector of arguments and p is to look up the executable on the path we're actually going to bypass the path lookup and uh, use dot slash so it runs the executable directly and then we can specify the vector of arguments basically the argv that this program is going to receive um, and so we can actually send a bogus value as argv0 uh, and then you know the rest of the arguments here our program doesn't actually print them so it doesn't matter exec is going to replace the current process so this is going to run a dot out and it's going to set these as argv and you'll see here that we've actually been able to fudge the value of argv zero to something that is fake and so basically what i want to demonstrate here is argv zero is something that you can't always trust now i did also want to show you a, a quick little thing for shell scripting, because argv0 can be very useful in shell scripts to find the directory that the shell script exists in, and then look for files relative to that. And there's kind of two patterns that I've seen people use. Uh, one, which only works on POSIX likes, uh, which have a read link command. And I know that the uh, rename exchange repository is a repo that I wrote. I know that my test here is written in a shell script that does this. Uh, and if we look at that, rename exchange t.sh. No, is it test.sh? Yeah. Uh, you'll see that I'm looking at dollar sign zero. In bash, this is the same as argv0, which is a path to this script that's being run. And I'm doing a little trick here to find the directory name of that script and then using read link to find the absolute path of this uh, script here and then finding an executable adjacent to that. So this is basically... Um, a shortcut to find the directory that this uh, script is contained in. The reason I'm using read link here is to get an one to get an absolute path and two to resolve any symlinks. Of course, read link is not available on systems like Mac OS where you'll have to use something different. Uh, I believe pre-commit actually does something like this. Pre-commit, pre-commit resources, hook impl, hook temple. Yeah, so you can see I've assigned this here variable to do sort of a similar thing. Uh, now, in this case, I don't have read link, so I'm actually doing a, a little trick here, making a subshell, CDing to the directory, that's dir name of $0, and using PWD to show the current directory. So this is another way to do that. And I believe you can actually do PWD dash capital L to resolve symlinks. I didn't care about resolving symlinks, so I didn't bother with that here. But uh, this is another example of using $0. Now, again, we noticed, we noticed earlier that they can't always trust this, and so 
in situations where your shell script is being invoked by some other thing that may be setting argv0, this might not be the value that you expect here. Uh, but anyway, wanted to show off argv0 as well as some patterns to use it in shell scripts. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.